Oh my goodness. It's been a day or so since I put the other video up. Um, everything is still a giant mess in here, but uh, didn't really get to do too much, <clears throat> um, even though it was a stay at home day. Um, I have this one here. Um, what I'm trying to do right now, I figured I'd try to show this off. What I have is a tuner right here. And the problem with this tuner is it was married to a car, all right? And you can get these, send these out and get them unmarried. Uh, or I don't know if some, something that some people do over, uh, over, you can do online over the internet. I don't, I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, the car that came from, it was in op, uh, didn't run. A lot of the wiring was tore apart. So I was told that it was married to the computer. Now, uh, with this one here, it does power up. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the computer and the skim and the key. And I'm going to plug this into the OBD2 with hopes that the wiring in this car is good. And it will allow me to uh, connect the, the tuner to the computer. So here's what I did so far. I have the other computer plugged into the harness. All right. Don't need anything here going to the motor because it obviously that's what reads the motor stuff. So we have the main harness is plugged in. All right. Good battery, good fully charged battery. This right here is the skim and key that go to that computer. Right now, I think I was at the point of getting the ratchet, if it's not in here already. I was getting a ratchet and a quarter inch because I need to remove the skim right here, okay? I removed the switch and get it out of the way because that's so much easier. Now I can get in here, I already got this unplugged. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this and then I'll remove our uh, ignition cylinder with the key for this one. And I'll show you how to get that out. Okay, here we go. I do have the ratchet right here. Let's get this out. Okay, we're going the right way. Okay. There we go. Now we got this all. Pull this out. <clears throat> okay, there's the skim for this car. Now, uh, what you want to do is you want to stick your key in. You'll turn this forward underneath, which you probably won't be able to see because it'll be dark. How do we have a radio? Radio noise. Underneath here. Where's it at? I'm trying to get this with my finger. You probably can't see it, and I'm trying to do it in the dark. All right, let's see here. If I can get it. There's a button here, and all I'm going to do is push up in that, turn this forward, and that allows me to slide this out. I'm going to grab our other one. I'm going to stick the skim on here. All right, now I'm going to take the other one. Now when you look at these, you see this here, that's the pin. So we'll make sure this is pushed forward and then it should. All right, maybe I went the wrong way. Okay. What? Fighting with this thing. All right, so basically you wanna have that toward the bottom. You slide this in. All right, now we have the skim is on here. Now I'm going to plug this in. Where's the wire? Okay. All right. Now that's plugged in. Now we'll grab our scanner. Or not our scanner. We'll grab our tuner. All right. And we'll plug that into the OBD2 port, which is down here. All right. There's that. And we'll cycle our key on. <clears throat> And uh, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna unmarry the tuner. Let's see, let's see what happens here. We are at this screen here. So we're pushing yes. 
we are going to tune our vehicle. Ensure the key is in the run position. Do not start the engine. Okay. <clears throat> What's funny, once I use that one on my car, these kind of, these kind of run slow. <clears throat> okay. Restore backup. Restore original backup. Please turn the ignition off. Continue. Turn the ignition to the on. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> well, it is going pretty fast. I mean, look at that. If everyone would just take the time to do this when they get rid of a tuner or they get rid of a car, the tuner would be worth something and then you wouldn't have to be worrying about an ECM with a tune on that you can't put a tune on and, and readjust it to the way you're modifying your car now without having to get it rewritten. Off. Continue on continue right complete restore backup complete please unplug the tool or tap continue to reboot all right so we actually restored the stock tune to the ecm all right this will probably take a second so it's booted back up we're gonna agree um Settings, advanced options. Now, try to. I'm not sure where to look. Wi Fi connection, analog input setup, sound display. Mm. I knew where to look in the last one. Hmm. I don't think that's where I want to be. <clears throat> I know it's in here somewhere. What's this do? This menu is for adjusting the tool settings. Okay. Tech support menu. Okay. Hmm. Cool. <clears throat> safer scan tool I never actually took a chance took the time to play with one of these so <clears throat> now it's got yeah, there's your data logging let's see if it has anything in here add PIDs delete PIDs restore default PIDs this screen is for selecting the PIDs to be used for data logging and for starting data log recording okay I have no clue all right, now, show trouble codes. Oh, look at this. We have a whole bunch of stuff. Wiper mode switch, which it's unhooked. And then there's all these other ones that are just empty. 104 active supported code, trouble, supported trouble codes? Reserved. That's a new one. Ah, let's clear the diagnostic codes. <clears throat> well, it, it dinged, so it did what it was supposed to do. I just can't remember. 
Where you go? Hmm? See, it would... If this wasn't unmarried, it would say restore backup. But we've restored the backup. You to install a performance tune through either easy tune option or the advanced tune option. To restore the backup to the vehicle, select the restore backup option. Let's see... <clears throat> What options it gives me here? Look, install standard tune, install custom tune. So this has two other tunes in it from what I was told, and that must be right. Okay, easy tune is, there's a 93 tune and a 91 tune, which is right. So yeah, I mean, I'm just used to looking at the screens in the older ones, so maybe I'm just not looking for the right place so mm. all right well there you go i mean that's 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 what you need to do to you know unmarry unmarry a tuner it's that it's that simple you know now i can take this ecm and use it in another car without any problems because it no longer has the tune on it and I can use this tuner on another car, or if somebody needs a tuner, here we go. So, <clears throat> that's how simple, that's, that's how simple that is. And yet, my car, somebody decided they wanted to keep the tuner off of it, and then taking the tune off. So, oh my. Another day, guys. Another neon. So, thanks for watching. Try to make the next one more fun than this. I just, uh, this was all we could come up with here on a Saturday evening. So hopefully this will be up tomorrow. You guys can watch it. And uh, let me know. We'll keep trying. We'll keep trying. See ya.